G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, where we're back in Immersion in Alpha 21, where I'm giving a go at the new feature of turning off the HUD almost completely, so waypoints and stuff exist, but no, uh, no hotbar, no information, no ammo counts, no fuel, no health, no nothing, just me immersed in the zombie apocalypse, and I tell you what, it's a real good time, except for the almost dying part. The sun is already up and crested over the mountains in the distance, but I have some things I have to do before I can leave home this morning. First of all, grab all my fluids and stuff, but I want to show you this. You may be asking, Josh, where did all your precious steel go? You've been trying to get your steel together for goodness knows how long, for donkey's years. Why have you lost all your precious commodities? And the answer is, I... Spent it. <laughs> I spent it in the best way possible. I realized I was only a little bit shy of getting my sniper rifle after I bought all that steel from the trader yesterday. It cost me several arms and even more legs to buy it from him. But now, look at it. Four and a half minutes away from a tier five sniper. And it cost me almost everything I had. But I bet you it's got to, oh, at least it better be very worth it. Or no use hanging about, shaking hands with all the cockroaches that live up there. I'm going to get out and get crack... Ooh. And get cracking. Um, before the sniper is ready. That's a wandering horde hanging out immediately below my horde base out there. So I want to see... Where do you guys path? This is a perfect opportunity to test all the pathing for my horde base and stuff. But yeah, look, if I'm in my base, they get up and they go through... The whole horde base system. So screamers and stuff. Well, no, I hadn't tested it from over here yet, but when the screamers show up, I can't see because there's glint on my scope. That'll do though. Stand in the shade so I get a nice clear sight picture and pop all you guys off. That is absolutely bloody perfect. They run over there. I can oh, almost boop them. There you go. From over all my coffees and frothies and apparently murder balcony. There you go. There you go. My plans definitely worked out exactly how I wanted them to. I can stop them doing that by opening the bridge, but that's bloody perfect. That's absolutely wondrous. Well, we've woken up and instead of having a cup of coffee in the morning, we've just spilled a bunch of zombie blood that's going to wake us up equally as much. I'm going to head straight out though and try and get the next buried treasure from Nicole. The last one's pretty good. I hope this one's good soon. And by the time I've done that, I reckon I can get back home, grab myself my new sniper rifle, and really have a good old swing about with it and just see how much better it's actually going to be. If it's worse than my tier one, I'm going to be upset. I, I mean, more than upset, but for now, we'll just say I'll be upset. This should be it just here. Please don't be up the cliff. Perfect. Love your work, Nicole. All right, let's grab that one. Pick a spot, any spot, any spot will do. There we go. Just dig straight down. Dig straight down. We're getting pretty lucky with these things lately, so I'm willing to try my hand at it again. Let's do a cheeky little circle down the bottom. Then I can put my ladder down so I can get back up again. But for now, come on, please. Please. Pretty please. I'm asking really nicely. Nah, nah, not this time. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Just feeling real good today. Oh, I'm feeling real good today. Oh, God, I've got my headlight on as well. I forgot about it. I don't know. Just... My blood's up, my, my positivity's up, which is bloody unusual. I feel like today is going to be a real good day for me, which is dangerous because every time this game gives me good feelings, I'm immediately kicked right in the gooch with all of the bad things the game could possibly spawn. So let's not tend fate that much. I've got my speed goggles on. Quickly grab you for another five grand. Let's pay me back for this deal, actually. Some gold. Scrap you. Take you. All right, it's not the best loot I've ever seen in my life, but all things considered, not terrible. That was a nice quick little job. Just got out and got the treasure, then back home again. Drop off all the extra gubbins I got. How are you looking? Oh, it's done. Oh my God, it's done. It's ready to rock and roll. Chuck you guys away. You can hold on to that for me. Thank you. Sellable's gonna hold on to that one. I've now got my sugar whites in my inventory, so I can't forget it like I did yesterday. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Please don't let me down. Oh, don't look at the stats. Don't look at the stats yet. Modify you. Take all of you out of there. I loved having four mod slots. Please at least have the same. So you're pumping out a hundred. I remember being very excited about triple digits. So a hundred damage magazine size at 12. Oh, I'm like, I'm itchy. I'm like jostling my legs underneath the desk in anticipation. Go. 
Yes, it's better. Oh, it's so much better. 120. A full 20 banger up on the T1. Plus the effective range is a little bit better. That's fan flipping time. So I can double the durability. Here you go, hot stuff. Here you go, hot stuff. Lovely, bloody, doubly. As lovely and doubly as it can possibly bloody get. You're worth four grand, but I'm never going to sell you. Or they're going to die holding you on the wrong end of you. Oh, we're ready. Oh, I'm ready for anything this game's got. Please don't take me up on that, though. I'm still scared. So now with my actually pretty, let's be honest, my pretty stacked armament. So I've got three top tier weapons. This is my bread and butter. My steel spear, my combi crossbow, my sniper rifle are all tier fives max level. Uh, sorry, like max tier of it. The, the best of their kind you can get other than fighting a tier six somewhere, which I mean, now that I'm armed up, the wasteland's not too far away, but let's not get too bold just yet there, Joshy boy. Uh, also got the tier five AK for those oh shit situations. It's looking, it's looking pretty banger. It's looking like an absolute blinder, a pillar of a little bit of a kid I got going on here. So now all I have to do is go and ignore the traders, which sort of seems dumb, but go and hit up all the car yards to desperately try and find the motorcycle books. Well, the, the next two vehicle books that I need to get the motorcycle. I get that. I'm not wanting for much, just the crucible really. There's a little alley just here that I'm going to quickly slink on down and see what I've got to deal with on the other side. You're an urgent care. There's a, like a couple of stores down again down there. There's a... What did, wait, where was it? That way. There's another auto store there. Okay. We've got two. We've got, the, we've got Joey's cars here. After we left friends, apparently, he went and opened a used car lot. I mean, he is a, <laughs> used to be an actor, so I guess it kind of makes sense. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Ready or not, here I come. Get your magazines out. I'm more than keen to sit in your waiting room. There's still that big honking stonking joint over there, which I wouldn't mind going and raiding with a gigantic concrete wall. I'd love to make that my base because, let's be honest, it's massive and luxurious and basically a villa. And I feel like I've earned that. Definitely haven't, but I feel like I have. But also... Having big concrete walls like that just screams like a relatively secure place to lock on down. So, seems like a pretty apt idea. Quickly search the cars on the way through. Don't see a lot of magazines in the waiting room. This is the worst dentist office ever. Just some glue. Oh, there you are. Oi, bud. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. I quite like the new sniper rifle. It didn't quite put you down, it didn't shoot you through the spleen, but the rest of these guys have been absolutely sausage rolled. Oh, it's good. I can hear someone beating on something. Probably out there, someone else. It's slow, so it might be a crawler or something. Any books in the office? No. Or any dogs in the car park? I was going to say if there is, I'd rather be up on the ladder, but I don't hear any growling, so. Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah, all right, maybe don't aim down the sights when they're basically gobbling along your forearm, but that's right, we managed to make it through. Got a little bit beat up. Don't be stingy with the first aid bandos. They was too busy blowing Arlene's mind. Oh, first time for everything. Good job, me. Yeah, look, you can see him. You can see him just having his own little time. In fact, can I give myself a little window to shoot through? There you go, that'll do. Show us your nog. Show us your nog. I'm ready for you. Missed it. Come on, one more. Please, I want you to glitch through for me. You're really making this more difficult than it needs to be. I saw you waggling your chops over there so much a second ago, and now you're doing nothing for me. Rude, rude. How dare you obey the laws of physics as soon as I start watching you. It's like the observer theory all over again. I'm sure I'll find that crawler at some point in the not too distant future, but for now, I can hear zombies groaning at me, but I don't know where they're all hiding out. I can't see them. All right, if I drop down, I can get on top of the wall, and that should serve me well. Oh, dog. That's bad. Oh, my God. Oh, the snap hit fire. I panicked. I pushed a button. Happened with the sniper rifle. Thought it might have been the AK, but none. Nah. Holy. Holy. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he's as shocked as I am. I'm absolutely flabbergasted at that. For once in my life, I did a good job. But it, look at you. There you are. There you are. You're out. You're out and in the open. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You're not escaping this time. Finally. It's hard yakking, but we got it done. You're kidding me. Car parts box, and it gave me 
two harvesting toolbox. Cheers for that one. I only need two more, um, uh, what's it called? Vehicle books. I need two more of them, and you're just really holding out of me at this point. Like, you've gone to a party without any cheese. Anything in you. Ooh, I can scrap you for the lead. Thank you. Got a good amount of lead these days. So you're unlocked. And that's the way back into the front room. But there's a button. Oh, I want to press the button like it's the super fun happy side. Mr. Burns' lair. Open you up. Any innies? I can see some... Oh, look, I can see someone moving. Oh, for goodness sake. I was about to say, didn't panic and put good shots down, but then I apparently did panic because none of the shots seemed to work. Old man absorbed bullets like he's in the mask, and I mean, he's wearing a green mask, so yeah, now nah, probably fair enough then. Jim Carrey has made it to the zombie apocalypse. Take all of you. Nothing else here. Cheeky work. Is this job done yet? It's not even a job, actually. I'm just here for the books. There's a whole other room in here that I just haven't been to yet. And I'm like at the end of the POI. There's all the loot down there. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, now that one. Break my way in. How was I supposed to get in here then if it wasn't breaking through the door? Search the medical cabinet. It's glaring as shit, but... Yeah, no, no one out there. All right. Yeah, okay. I just com completely gapped that and went through the office instead. All right, fair enough then. Not going to find any books in here, but need to unturn every stone. That looks like a pallet of concrete. Need all of those. Yes, please. Do kind of miss the days when... Uh, they Remember they used to give you, like, the actual wet cement out of those things? Oh, those were the days. Concrete bases on, like, day one with a stone shovel and a blunt spear. Oh, uh, well, those are long gone now. Anything in the tool chests? Some wire cutters. I've got a couple of those. Actually, I'll sell you... Uh, scrap you, rather. Don't need rotten flesh right now. I'm going to turn that wood into nothing. Got to hold onto it for a change. Turn all that glue into duct tape. Nice. Stack them up. Wake everybody up downstairs. Come on. Come on. I know how your pathing works. Come and meet me on the stairwell. Go on. Go on. Like it's bloody Rose at the end of Titanic. Meeting Jack at the bloody stairs in the middle of the ship. Hopefully this one ends a little bit better than that one, though. But even so, stairs are just made for romance. It is a bit annoying, though, after all of that, there isn't a passing gas book uh, box rather at the end of it. So I feel like my chances are pretty slim. I'm going to scrap you just for the rifle part. I think it's worth more to be that way anyway. A medical book that I've already finished the series of. T6 padded chest armor. Never upset finding T6 anything. Thank you for that. Book I've already read. Makes true. A little bit peckish. Whack it in then. Yeah, nah, it's, um, that's a little bit disappointing. I really thought I'd find the books in here. I thought going to a car shop would give me car things. Why would I think that? Why would I be so bleeding silly? This is seven days to die, Josh. Not anything that makes sense. That's all right, though. No use throwing the toys out of the pram or the baby with the bathwater or any combination thereof. That was just the first of a couple of car places I wanted to go and hit up. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. You can say then. Right, off to the next one then, like I'm Avril Levine. Down we go. What have we got now? The A1 Auto. Is that the place that just has, like, stacks and stacks and stacks of broken cars? Uh, no, it's not actually. It's a different one. You lot of all... Why are you searched? My loot respawn is off, and I've definitely checked and been confused by that before. Why are you... I mean, I'm not, I'm not completely upset about it. I mean, I'll take some free gubbins. Why not? But you're not supposed to bring things back. I didn't get much out of it, but... That's absolutely fuzzed with me. That's confused me more than the body curly whirly. There's a collision center down there next to the Cracker Book as well. Unfortunately, the Cracker Book has been looted, or both recently, so even with the weird loot respawning glitches going on, it won't have any books left in it anyway, but also, it's completely empty. Speaking of empty, sweet reception. Can't even hire a greeter at the... Oh. Alright, I understand why no one's been to the desk then, because I didn't make it out of the back room. Loza devoured them. She's a man-eater. Man-eater, that's for sure. Those aren't the words, but you know what I mean. Loza's goblin. I'm just going to close the door on that and leave Loza and her <laughs> two rather exhausted looking friends in there up to their own devices. You can you can have all of that, but you're not going to have my big flaming stick. 
What else is in here? Anything to drink? It will be parched after all of that. Could use something to quench me thirst, given Loz has quenched hers already. I've turned off my headlight, and in fact, I might even whip on the odd NVGs because it's a little bit dim in here. Just to try... Oh. Shit. Because I just try to maintain my stealth, but all that was like... No, absolutely not, mate. Gonna lose my noggin about it instead. Get rid of you. Was it just you lot? Look at that. See, I try and be stealthy. I try and be stealthy with my zero points invested in stealth and I get surprised when it doesn't work. So actually... Ooh. I can hear some flame boys. I do have a point to spend. It's hard not to. It's hard not to. I've got to go better, but... Oh, no, wait. I was supposed to just, like, save my points to buy uh, light armor. Damn it, me! Ah, oh, well, spent it now. It's fine. We'll get another one. In fact, how far away am I from another level? A good long way away. And still, no vehicle box. Pop open this passing gas box. Come on, vehicle box. You are shitting me. Why are you still giving me, why are you giving me so many harvesting tools books inside ve uh, vehicle books places? I'll try that again. Why are you giving me so many harvesting books inside vehicle boxes? That doesn't make an awful lot of sense. Can't see one noggin, so I'll shoot you in the other one. You're gonna be pissing sideways out of that one, like it's the end of Hot Rod. Uh, no one down there. Take my bolt back out of you. Is that a bolt in your dick, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, don't get too close. Oh, Josh. Josh, can you pay attention to more than one thing at once, please? There you go. Good job. Turns out just playing with your lever will get you all sorts of progress. I can hear another fire spout. Open the door. I'm still going stealthies with my NVGs on. Can I see any feet underneath them? No, not quite. Look. Oh. Oh. Right through the ankle. Yeah, unlucky. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everything's going on. How did you get set on fire? You weren't even close to the flames. The reach on the flame is ridiculous. Oh, the reach on you is ridiculous. Can you please sit down and snuggle Scomo instead? It's been a while for him. Right, okay. If only that thing still did damage. It's a shame it doesn't anymore. Ah, there it is. There it is. Pull the lever, crunk. It was not the wrong lever. We're not going down to the alligators tonight. Nice. Straight to Yzma's lad. I've come outside. It's bright as dick, so I can take off my NVGs. Whack on the old XP gogs instead. Doggo. There be do- Oop. Get away from the bumper because hitbox is not my friend. Don't have a name for a hedgehog because it is just a crawler and he will go down from anything. Oh, Dongo being hungry. Dongo has been hungry, but Dongo will hunger no more. Almost did him a favor, really. Just like fixed his insatiable hunger for all sorts of things and put him down the humane option. Another one. I don't like how cute they are now. I don't like how cute they've made zombie vicious dogs. I shouldn't feel bad killing a demon. Just got the roof left over. Up we go. Someone's gurgling at me outside, but that's okay. Oh, I see a pitch. Hold on. Pidgey down. Any others? Any any's? Oh, I see a couple of booty boys. Get dangled. Just pop up here. There you are. Yeti V crossbow. And for once, the crossbow will win, but my nightmares will never resolve. I reckon, I reckon we're pretty good. Oh, no, nah, it's, it's, it's lower. It's lower and sketchier than I thought it was going to be. We're just a pigeon, so it might be all right. Are we good? Are we good? Are we okay? I think, I think we're sorted. La volley. All right, this is your moment, game. Passing gas box, animo power. Both have a decent chance of giving me vehicle books. Seriously, fuck off. Fuck off with that shit. Does it say harvesting tool box? No, it says car parts box. Keep me a fucking magazine about something with four wheels and an engine that goes blah, blah, blah. Bitch. God damn it. <laughs> Getting annoyed about that. Still nothing in you. Another DD book though. In fact, how far away am I from getting a DD? DD was... Ooh. DD was max level on the robotics, so probably a fair chunk and stonk and bit away from him. What if I you? You can have that one. Free up some extra space. Anything in the ammo pile? Nah. Anything in the medical pile? Nah. All right, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of shit out of luck today, aren't I? So what was I looking for? I was looking for robotics. Robotics? Not even close. Not even, not even halfway. Not even living on a prayer. All right, fine. All right, fine. I'm gonna chuck some shit back in my bike then and figure out what the next plan of action is. I guess, 
The collision center? I need that motorcycle, man. I'm desperate for it. I'm foregoing all my other responsibilities to Jen and whoever to try and figure this shit out. Because I just... I just need it. I need it really bloody bad. There's a vending machine out the front door. Oh, and a zombie. Don't ram it though. Ramming zombies with vehicles now does a lot of damage to us. Probably why my bike got so messed up just a second ago. You working? You are not, which means you do have some steel inside you. You're still valuable. Don't let anyone tell you you're not. You may be a little bit broken, a little bit fucked up around the edges, but you're still very valuable to me. I'm just going to... You... Put that doggo down immediately. I, oh, there's a couple of them because that, yeah, walking out that door like that is a bad time. Look at that. Three doggos. Three doggos hanging out the back door over here for when you inevitably open that thing up. But I haven't been through this place. Ooh. Haven't been through this place now for 21, so this could be a little bit interesting. I have to forget everything I ever learned about this place and assume I know nothing like I'm bloody Jon Snow. I put down a box next to my bike to free up my inventory, so I'm ripe and ready like a plum on a tree, ready to raid the joints. Nope, the cashier is definitely dead. He won't be raiding the cash register then. Cheeky coffee. Don't mind if I do. Anytime you find a free coffee or frothy, you know you're in for a good time. As long as you see the zombies first, which I'm not seeing many of. Except you. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. God damn, I hate feral bikers. They're so tough. There's another bit of fire just here. And oh, you. Oh, I don't want to do it now. I can't cronk it. I can't pull a lever, but I still have to give it a little twizzle anyway. Oh, man, that was way less satisfying. Oh, never mind. Put it behind you and keep on carrying on. No one in the corner. No one really anywhere around here. Where's all the zombies? There's usually... Oh, God, there's usually a couple of them. Oh my god, I love the co it, was, it cost me 10 grand, but you know what? I reckon it was absolutely worthwhile. Sitting around in one fell swoop. Can't buy that kind of satisfaction. Well, you can. It's 10 grand. There's surely going to be some more in here somewhere. It's never ever... Oh, Jesus, big legs. Like, it's never ever this quiet. Uh, check everywhere, please. Oh, there's one. Any purpose? Any purpose at all? Check for feats. Oh, gross. I wouldn't even charge that on the internet. Get a pedicure or something. There you go. I did the world a favor and put it right through your big toe. Just stay there. Just stay there. You're fine. You're all good. Just have a nap. No one's coming looking for you. Just looking around and see if there's any book piles or anything anywhere around here, but it's looking not particularly fantastic for me. Nothing really in you, but I'll break it down for any extras you might give me. The only real downside, I mean, there's a lot of, <laughs> the only real, the, there's a lot of downsides to having no HUD, but one of the ones I wasn't really anticipating, like, looking out of aim, that's a skill issue. That's a me issue. It makes sense. But the other thing is just not knowing what resources I'm getting. Like, you don't get the resource pop down the bottom to tell you what you're getting when you break stuff down. So you're kind of just either working from memory or trying to piece it together later, which is not, Ideal. You weren't there a second ago. Oh. Oh. There we go. Remember what I was saying about not being out of aim? Yeah. No, that's that's not going, not going away anytime soon. There's going to be a whole mess of zombies waiting for me up the tippy top up there, which I'm not thrilled about. I didn't feel about the lockpicks, though. Thank you. It's usually like pelicans and whatnot, though. So I might be able to make this work. Oh, yeah, I reckon I can. Oh. That was a big bit of lag. Apparently, I'm just a son that didn't actually swing my uh, my rifle. Not my rifle, my spear. Speaking of rifles, I'll probably use that. Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's fine. Oh, it's less fine. It's less fine. Hold on. Hold on. Just stab and run. Sit up for me. Would you bloody die? Jesus Christ. Skomo, no one wants you. Take the hit for once. Or may try to cut me off with his spaghetti legs or, or use his spaghetti legs. Floppy noodles all over the place. Still not dead. Tanky as fuck. There's still some more up there. Who are we going to deal with? Who's still left? Just you. <gasps> Crack a book box. Crack a book box. This is the moment. This is the moment. I can feel the expectation surging through my veins. Come on, vehicles. No, but workstations. So I can't be too upset about that because that's going to get me ever closer to getting the crucible. Yet another very imp important thing. Harvesting tools. No, thank you. Steel spear parts. I mean, I'll sell you at some point. Check. There you go. The medical supplies. For a book I've already finished. 
Nice soccer. Ooh, volume five. Bows do 10% more damage. At night. It's not too bad. An iron breaker mod. I'll drink you. Take you. And that's all she bloody wrote. Not the end of the series. Right, I am. I am just having a mare of a time. I can't find these bloody books to save myself. The crickets are starting to chirp, but I'm heading back home. I've got all the stuff out of the box and my bike in my pocket, so I'm fine. Oh, do I? Nah, I probably don't have enough time to stop off at the pawn store. I have to do that another time. No, but these are untouched bloody newspaper stands, so they've got me fizzy. Armored up book. One more. Workstations book. How far away am I? How far away, away am I now? Three. Three books away from getting the crucible. I shouldn't have gone look though, because last time I looked, I was like, oh, it's only two books till vehicles. But nah, haven't seen a sausage since. It's literally been days since I saw a vehicle book. It's bullshit. Where would I find them? Maybe like, when I learned this lesson in Mega City back in Alpha 20, that it's not really the branding of the building you go to that matters, it's the level of the POI. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should have started writing like little office blocks and stuff like this and just finding bookshelves. And maybe that will actually give me what I'm after. That's the escape route for the whole POI. But there's this whole like office block just here. If I just start punching my way through this joint. Look, bookshelves right there. That's got just as much potential to give me what I'm after than the vehicle places did. But I should probably, I was gonna say, probably actually clear the joint out before I start reading magazines. You're gone. That was loud. Yeah, I see him. Should have stayed on the trotter. Oh, I pushed it back into you. What are you going to give me for it? Nah, but books, that's the thing. I'm getting the same shit out of you that I was a second ago. But it's a high level POI, so might actually be more worthwhile. All the filing cabinets are empty. So are the desks. So all the desks, actually. All right, never mind then. So there was just this one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Live up to all of my expectations I've unjustly put upon you. Just another armor. Oh, we're finding a lot of those, actually. How far away am I going to be from getting my armor stuff sorted? You, armor. I can make T1 military stuff. And I did find some steel booty boys in the last POI, so... I mean, potentially. I don't want to go through the rest of this place. So that was just like a little taster. Little taster of what might be inside. I just need bookshelves. I need bookshelves or scatter books anywhere. Anything you want to give me, I'm all for. You know what? I've put all my stuff away and I'm getting desperate. Um, I mean, oh, that sounded like it hurt a little bit. It did. It's from my ankle though. Look, I live next to a couple of residential properties. I don't think I've been through this one yet. Residential places have uh, bookshelves, and bookshelves have books. So I think, I reckon this is gonna be the one. I mean, I'm armed up enough now that I should be able to start going on night raids if I'm feeling brave. I very rarely am, but this is really a bra oh, gee, Willikers! But there's a bookshelf right there. Nice, thank you. Oh no, thank you. Stay down. I can't even bloody see where you are because you're hiding under a table and chair. Jeez, everything is loud in here. Everything is loud. Stay. Sit. And burn just that little bit. In fact, I'm feeling pretty aggressive, so... Nice. Nice. Just had to finish you off. But yeah, I think this is a good plan. It's not a good plan. We're going to try it anyway. Oh, it is a fucking good plan. One more book. One more book. I'm not, like, super entirely sure where I'm meant to go. Uh, because the stairs here are broken, so you go through this way. That door is locked to nothing. I'll have a little gander at you then. No more books in here. No reading material in the loo. There hasn't been a thing since we invented Wi-Fi. Take you. I'll actually turn you straight into a first aid bando. Thank you. Um. Yeah. Where am I? Oh, yeah. No, no, here we go. Here we go. Up through the kitchen. Oh, mate's... Old mate's trying on a suit. Let me see what you're looking at. Just a padded hood. All right, you want to be an assassin? Etsy goes knock on a grant you that. Calm your bloody farm. Oh, not to be. Come on, one more. One more vehicle book and I'm just about to get nude. Oh, my clothes are getting itchy. Pop open the safe in the ceiling. Thank you. Ooh, scrapping for fun and a great highest book. 20% more damage to land claim property. Not actually helpful in single player, but uh, well, any book that I haven't read is a good book for me. We all know what I'm pining for. It's bloody Pistol Pete all over again. Can I... I reckon there's probably a way through. There's probably a way to get into there later on. So as the night is getting pretty late on, I'll 
Just try and focus on the job at hand. See you. That's the nighttime noise. I'm only across the street, but it's still dicey. All right, Josh, this is the moment. Got to be brave. Shut down your night vision goggles. I'm going to close that door and then <laughs> get a little shot at old mate uh, Nance in there. Sit you down nice and quietly. Stealthy as you like. Get little peepholes through doors and taking care of business. Oh, there's a big lag spike. Quickly drop you. It's all very red tinge, which I'm just kind of ingrained now to fear. Take you back again. Where are the zombies going to come from? Where are the zombies going to come from? Not in there. That's going to be a room for later. Room for later. Uh, okay, you hiding something? Nah, pause is not. All right, you're fine then. Oh, God. I don't like this. I don't like being out at night. I'm not this brave. Who was I kidding? Oh, look at that. I thought this was going to be a death drop, but nah, got the climbing rope. I forgot about the climbing ropes. I bloody love them. One of the best additions. I mean, and a lot of things that I say is the best edition of Alpha 21 because there's a lot of contenders for it. Quickly check the bookshelf. Still no vehicle book. Last one. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, I got it. We got it. You, vehicles. Unlocked the motorcycle. I almost swallowed my saliva glands with excitement out of that. Oh my god. Okay, don't die now. You went through all this hard work to get to this moment. Don't throw it away. We're not taking this seriously. Oh, sit you. Don't bother reloading the crossbow. Just go with the spear because it's still fucking amazing. We're good. We're good. We're good and golden and have unlocked. The motorcycle, after such a shit ass day, raiding everywhere that didn't have it, it needs steel, don't care, we finally have the recipe. Oh, thank God. So after all of that, open up the door, see what the weather's rolled in with. There's my mini bike, there's my house, looking bloody lovely over there. I actually really like this house. Living in that attic and retrofitting it to have all the crafting stations I need, but not feeling either claustrophobic nor excessively large. I'm actually really about it. Scrap you, take you, search medical pile for just some vitamins. Crack a book box. If you give me a stack of vehicle books, I'm gonna be pretty upset. You son of a bitch. All right, whatever then. Not going to be upset about it because it's fine. I needed them and the game delivered. Got three out of this random book and zero out of a couple of days of uh, concerted looking in car places. Just how it goes. Just how it goes. going to say some of the time, but in this case, it's all of the time. Old mate, you're having a bit of a trundle. Can you now? Catch you later. All right, we're good. Let's get upstairs and just be happy with our haul. With all that done though, it is very late. So it is time for me to wrap up this episode. Get some more concrete on the craft. Hang on a second. Actually, where there are goggles for it then. There you go. But before I wrap it up, this has been here for a little while. And I think it's time. I think it's time that I showed you guys what is behind it. What has been there the whole time. Why we cannot enter. It's been building up. I've, I've got this surprise in, in my pocket. I wanted to show you guys and make a big deal of it. So here we go. Are you ready? This is what has been behind the do not enter door. But I'll have to come back and actually show you what's behind the do not enter door in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.